Hey, hello everyone. I hope you're having a nice day. Um, I'm recording this video as a video response to the latest uh, Elm Radio podcast. It was a very nice episode with Lindsay Wardell. I uh, hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, regarding Elm and Veet. And um, I really like the, the podcast. I, I really enjoyed also her talk and uh, I always enjoy when Jeroen and Dylan uh, make this podcast because I, I learned lots of things. So um, I just wanted to say that uh, even though Veet is all nice and fun and it appears to work great, there are also other options that we should consider when we want to build for Elm. So we will see about these options uh, later on. But let's first try what it's mentioned in the podcast and use feet. So we have our Elm project, which is the basic counter that everyone knows. This is the main file. As you can see, we have a main TS, with which all it does is just to import Elm and some random styles. And then we have a basic uh, HTML page, you know, the usual. Um, we're having like a fancy uh, SVG that we're gonna to see. And let's see what we need to do to build with feet. The first thing that we need to do is to npm e slash d, which is for uh, dev dependencies, vite and vite plugin elm. I was about to say beat elm plugin or whatever, so I was gonna mess it for sure. We wait till it downloads. And now we have it in our dev dependencies. We have two commands, start and build, which are the two that we care about. And the second one, the build is running the TypeScript compiler. So what we need to do in order to make all this uh, Elm plus TypeScript setup is to create a file, which is called vite.config.ts. And we need to import, um, yeah, something from Vit, something which is called define config, right? And then we need to import the Elm plugin from uh, Vit plugin Elm. Okay. And then finally, oh no, I'm messing my quotes again. Um, sorry for that typing, I changed my keyboard layout and I don't know how to type. We need to export default uh, define config plugin, calling it and passing an object. This object has plugins, which is just like an array of Elm plugin called, right? And I think this is all. And when we just called uh, npm start, which if you remember is calling vite. Elm plugin is not a function. Great. Okay, so apparently the correct version, way of importing this, this has changed from the moment of the talk, is to do this. To import the plugin. So, like this. And now it should work, hopefully. Nice, and we go to this talk port and we have the Elm counter. And if you check the Elm console, you see that some actions are happening. Okay, this is uh, very nice. We can now run npm run build and we have the build. But what happens if we want to support older versions of browsers. Well, apparently Vite by default supports very new browsers, but we don't want that. We want to use browsers list and for example, support the last five versions. What's wrong? Well, what's wrong is that Vite does not support those by default and we need to use this hack, which is a bit ugly. Okay, we need to rely on an extra dependency. Let's add this as well, npm that dependency browsers list to ES build. So we're hacking into ES build so that we have it our way. And then we add this build step to the vid config. So this is starting to look a little bit too like web bug in my opinion, 
but okay, we can deal with it. Let me just copy the import because I'm gonna mess it again this time. And now hopefully um, this will give like a different output. We, if we run build, we will see that the output now is a bit bigger because we are compiling more JavaScript needed for other browsers. Okay, so we've used Vite and it works all fine. And as you see, it's quite snappy as well. It's, it's very quick. But now let's just remove everything. Let's just remove uh, Vite and Vite Elm plugin. No, plugin Elm as well. And remove this browser's list browsers list to ES build thingy and let's just get rid of it. Okay, and we're going to use parcel instead and see what happens. So let's run npm install slash d um, just parcel, right? And we're going to leave this, the browsers list as it is, and we're going to say instead of this, we're going to say parcel and in parcel, you need to specify which is the target uh, entry point of your application because it could be a JavaScript file or it could be a type, um, TypeScript file. It could be an HTML file. And so we need to say index.html. Right. And now we need to pass it to the build as well. So now we have two dependencies, parcel and TypeScript. And now, just like this, we remove the vid config file. Okay, and now there's no config. So we will try to run parcel and see what happens. Oh, see this. Parcel detected that we are using Elm in our code base and automatically it's installing it for us and it's using it. And we had to do nothing it was automatic. And if you check this out, it installed Elm as well as the Elm transformer, but it did it for us automatically. And now if we go to this page, we have exactly the same counter, but with parcel. And this was completely zero config. And what's even nicer about this is that if we called npm run build, Parcel is already using browser's list and understands browser's list by default. So this JavaScript that it's compiled, it's also taking into consideration both for the CSS and the JavaScript, the browser's list file in our package.json. And we had to do, we just follow a few conventions. We had to do nothing else. And we got a snappier version, a zero config tool that just works. That's why I love Parcel. And if you check this um, super secret repo that the creator of Parcel has, Devon Govet, he did like uh, some benchmarks again against Parcel and Vite and TurboPack, and the results might strike you incredibly. Remember TurboPack, the Vercel's latest thing that they said, "Hey, we built something with Rust, blah blah blah. It's super quick." Well, it turns out Parcel is quicker than Vite and quicker than TurboPack, yes. And if we go to the TurboPack page, they also have some benchmarks comparing Next and Vite and uh, Next with TurboPack. And do you notice there's something missing here? Yes, Parcel is missing because probably Parcel will take like half the time of TurboPack. So I just don't want to spoil it too much. I just want to say that I have an, uh, an Elm parcel template that you might be able to use. It comes with this setup by default and also uh, with Elm test, Elm review and some Tailwind and uh, predefined GitHub Actions CI built in in case you decide to use um, parcel instead of it. But if you are happy using Vit and you want to keep using it, obviously feel free to do that. Just consider as well that you have another option, which is zero config, and it works as great, and maybe it's even more performant, uh, which is Parcel. So hope you enjoy that, and thank you for watching. See you next time.